Hello, this is Ross at Wood Fire Power, and the theme of Wood Fire Power is self-sufficiency. And so to attain self-sufficiency, you need warmth in the winter, hot water so you can wash dishes and take showers and baths, um, electricity, and then you need food, and you need transportation. So, so far I've done videos on the steam turbine and steam engine technologies and heating the house and how to build the hot water reservoir. In this video I'm adding uh, food into the mix and this is a second of these videos but I'm kind of describing why this uh, high aquaponic video is here. It's because we need food and so we need a way to create that and uh, we can either buy it at the store or make it ourselves. This is a super simple aquaponic setup. It's constructed from one 50 gallon barrel that's cut in half to create two grow beds. And then another 50 gallon barrel um, cut kind of sort of in half. The top is growing duckweed, which is a fish food, and it's also letting uh, big particulates settle out. Not sure that's necessary. Then the water drains via an overflow down to this holding tank, and then I can look inside here. Yeah, it's getting ready to happen now. So, in the holding tank, what happens is, over time, the water rises up until it gets up to the height of that horizontal, that elbow. When it does, then the water runs horizontally through the fittings and starts draining down into this little water bottle. And the water bottle is hanging on this thread, a little fishing line, and that goes down, that goes down into the reservoir to a flapper valve. The flapper valve we can see that right there there's no water coming out and in just a minute it's going to do its drain cycle so that's why I started the video here so in a moment the flapper valve at the bottom of the tank which is up inside the tank from that fitting is going to open and then all of the water in the tank is going to rush down and fill the two um, growing beds. So that's going to take just a minute and then it'll get going and I'll come back and show you the water coming out. Meanwhile, let me show you the growth. This is just a few weeks of growing the basil. It's really hot weather right now so it's wanting to flower uh, fairly rapidly. and. The sunflowers are growing in it, and cucumbers are growing in it. And you can see them just growing right up to the tips. And right up to the tips, there's little tiny cucumbers and more growth. So that cucumber is very happy with the system. Down under, you can see that just a little ways under, there are roots, and it's moist down there. It's moist all the time. Let's see if we're ready to shoot yet. Not quite. And then feeding the plants, of course, you need to have fish if you've got aquaponics, and there they are. And these are koi and the koi are growing like crazy. They're growing about an inch a month right now, so they're really taking off 
and before long, a, ah, a frog's even happy. Now that's a sign that you've got a clean system because frogs are one of the most sensitive creatures to any kind of pollutants. Ah, there we go. So now the bottle, let's take a look at that. The bottle filled up with water and it got heavy enough that it pulled the flapper valve open on the drain. That then makes the water drain down. And so because the water is draining down, the water level is now below the elbow. And it's no longer flowing water into the bottle. And then some small holes in the bottle allow the water to slowly leak out. Meanwhile, the um, the water in the reservoir is draining down and flooding the barrels. So there they are. There's the water level. And then when it's finished, the the water bottle will come back up. The flapper will close. Oh, so but there it is now this is a super simple super small setup and it could grow you um, well, about, if you were growing lettuce instead of basil, you'd probably produce more than you can eat. I know they were making more kale than they could eat, and this is quite a lot of basil. So, um, that's how that system's going. Now, in the future, what I'm planning to do, as long as I get the funding in time, is to build a much larger system, one that would be useful as far as earning a bit of an income. And so we'll see how that goes. For now, that's what we have today. There's a nice aquaponic system and some happy sunflowers and fish.